Almost a week since the Greenpeace ship was first raided by Russian coast guards, the vessel has now been towed to a fjord outside the port of Murmansk in northern Russia. The immediate fate of the 30-strong crew of activists now depends on Russian prosecutors. The initial protest last Wednesday was launched with determined speed, intended to catch the security staff and the Russian authorities by surprise. Using a fast boat launched from the Greenpeace ship Arctic Sunrise, the demonstrators were able to send two activists up the side of the oil platform on ropes. The protesters were quickly intercepted by armed Coast Guard officers, and it quickly became evident that the Russians were not tending to be lenient. I, I, I suspect you in terrorism, in terrorism. In terrorism? I suspect you. I Hours after that radio exchange, armed Russian men abseiled from helicopters onto the Arctic sunrise and took control of the ship and its multinational crew. Five days in the custody of the Russian Coast Guard is unlikely to be the end of the matter for the Greenpeace activists. Here in Moscow, prosecutors are already indicating that they may pursue piracy charges against the group. The spokesman went on to describe the protest as an attempt to seize a drilling platform by storm and said it raised legitimate doubts about their intentions. Investigators have already launched a criminal case against participants of this reckless storming, according to Article 227 of the Criminal Code, Piracy. Investigators plan to question participants and detain the most active amongst them. The ship, he said, was loaded with electronics, whose purpose was not clear. But Greenpeace has insisted its protest was peaceful, and at no time was the intention to seize property in the way that piracy is legally defined. I have no sensible explanation as to why this criminal case has been launched. They're being unlawfully held by the Russian authorities. They have no means of communication with us, with their relatives or with lawyers. They're under armed guard, which effectively means they've been held unlawfully for five days. Campaigners on the ship are from 18 countries, including Australia, Brazil, Canada, Denmark, France, New Zealand, Russia and the UK and the US. If prosecuted, each could be facing up to 15 years in prison. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Moscow.